It was revealed that famous Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein has been sexually harassing women and then paying them to keep quiet about it. And as stunning as the allegations are, equally stunning was the apology that Weinstein issued after the article was published. Here to comment are three of our writers, Amber, Ali, and Jenny, everyone. Hey, thank you for having us. Um, Seth, how did you feel when you heard the allegations? I was disgusted and shocked. How did you feel? Well, I was disgusted and not shocked. I was disgusted and shocked that it took this long to become a story. I was disgusted and shocked that people were shocked. <laughs> Seth, we want to start by applauding the women who went on the record to detail Harvey Weinstein's terrible behavior. So far, we know Weinstein reached cash settlements with eight women. And where there are eight, there are always more. And whatever details you hear, just know that means there are worse details we haven't heard. And the ones we have heard are terrible. One woman said Harvey Weinstein cornered her in a nightclub, and then, when she wouldn't kiss him, masturbated into a potted plant. And then the plant got a three-picture deal. <laughs> also in his apology, he blamed disrespect of women on growing up in the 60s and 70s, which would be a good excuse if he came to the present via time machine. Yeah, did he not notice things have been changing over the past 50 years? Does he lose it? Every time he sees a microwave, that man just made popcorn without a flame. <laughs> to make matters worse, he said he was going to go after the NRA and Trump as if our shared politics makes his sexual assault OK. Hey, I saw a guy masturbate into a plant. Oh, oh no. no. But it was OK because he was wearing a Planned Parenthood button. Oh, oh he's cool. a feminist. Oh. Cool. When he got busted, Weinstein said, to make up for it, I'm starting a scholarship for women directors. That's just him being around more women. That's not the solution, that's the problem. <laughs> that's like Jared from Subway saying, I know I messed up, but don't worry, I'm starting a t-ball league. You know who else is sexually harassing women every day? Unpowerful men, like bus drivers. And hot dog vendors. And, and improv, improv coaches. <laughs> Every woman in the American workforce has been harassed at some point. Whether it's physical harassment or a passing inappropriate comment, this is something women deal with every day. Which is why, while we weren't shocked by Weinstein's actions, the women on our staff had some pretty strong reactions to his apology. Take a look. I came of age in the 60s and 70s when all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. I so respect all women. I've decided I'm going to give the NRA my full attention. He compared himself to Jay-Z? that was the culture then. He said that was the culture then. Don't drink that. He said it was the culture back then. Sorry. Obviously, that was awful, but harassment's clearly a huge problem in our society. Do you guys have any uh, thoughts on how to change that? Yeah, sexual harassment training. Yeah, believing women when they come forward with complaints. Also, men could just stop being such <gasps> creeps. <gasps> that, do that! That is a great idea. You should write that down. Someone should write that down. And you know, the worst part is nothing's gonna happen to Harvey Weinstein. As shocking as these allegations are, the real shocking thing would be if there were any repercussions for his actions. Oh, well, actually, guys, it was just announced yesterday by the board of the Weinstein Company that he has been fired. Amazing. I am shocked. I am fully shocked. I am so Amber, Ali, and Jenny, everyone. We'll be right back with Senator Cory Booker.